Is your cat causing psychological problems to you and to your family? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. Now I want to start by talking about something called fatal attraction syndrome or fatal attraction phenomena. Now this was first discovered in rodents, specifically mice. What they noticed was is that there is a parasite in the feces of cats commonly. Not all cats would have it obviously, but commonly found in the feces of cats called Toxoplasma gondii. And what they've discovered is that when this parasite is acquired by a mouse, something changes. There's a psychological change that takes place in rodents. And what happens is rodents, obviously, they're terrified of cats. But these same rodents, when they are infected with Toxoplasma gondii, begin to have this fatal attraction phenomenon. What ends up happening, actually, is that instead of being afraid of cats, or afraid of cat urine, if they smell cat urine, they begin to be afraid. But once they're infected, they become attracted to cats, or to their urine, rather. And so what happens is that makes them more prone to being eaten by a cat. That means that the parasite is able to go from one host, the rodent, onto the cat. And once the cat has it, obviously it's, you know, it's, it's spread to its next host and it's just, it could be just a prog progression from there on out. So how does this impact humans? Well, let's look at some research on fatal attraction phenomenon in humans. A study was done on 34 people who were infected with Toxoplasma gondii, this cat feces parasite, and 134 people that were not infected. Now they were put into a study to see the impact of fatal attraction phenomenon in humans. What they did is, interestingly enough, they diluted urine from cat, horse, tiger, brown hyena, and dog to see how pleasant and intense it was to these humans. And they discovered that men who were infected with Toxoplasma gondii thought that cat urine was more pleasant than the urine from other animals. Strangely enough, the converse was true in women, that women who were infected by this parasite rated cat urine as less pleasant. So evidently this parasite that's found in often in cat feces can not only negatively impact rodents, but it can impact men to making them more attracted to cat urine. Now you say, okay, who cares? That's not that big of a deal. But what else might it be doing to the human health and psyche? Well, first of all, let's step back and research has shown, the CDC tells us that roughly 60 million Americans are infected with Toxoplasma gondii, this parasite found in cats. Now you've probably heard the very popular idea that when women are pregnant, they're told not to do what with their cats? Yeah, they're told not to clean out the cat litter box. And the reason is, is because they may become infected during their pregnancy and this can cause two very you know troubling effects to their offspring number one it can increase the rates of blindness in their children and secondarily it can increase the chances that their child will end up at some point having schizophrenia and so these are quite serious issues according to the mayo clinic most people with toxoplasma gondii have no side effects but healthy people that do may experience aches and pains, swollen lymph nodes, fever, headache, fatigue. For those with compromised immune systems, they may experience headache, confusion, poor coordination, seizures, lung problems, blurred vision that can happen from an inflamed retina. So we can see that this infection may mimic all kinds of other things. Maybe you think you have arthritis and well, maybe you have this parasite in you or you have some other issue and your doctor may say, well, it's this. Well, they're probably not gonna check to see if you have this infection. So this is kind of a, a chameleon that it can mimic all kinds of other problems. Now, as we said, it's commonly from cat feces, but it also can come from undercooked meat. And according to the University of Chicago Medical Center, up to 30% of people on earth have a Toxoplasma gondii infection. Another disorder that is called IED or intermittent explosive disorder. And I'm going to put a link to another video I did where people have been, there's actually food 
that can increase your chance of having something called intermittent explosive disorder. And it's a food that's considered by everybody to be super healthy, but it might be causing your anger problem. I'll put a link for that. I'll put the you know connection at the end of the video. But intermittent explosive disorder is defined by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, as recurrent, impulsive, problematic outbursts of verbal or physical aggression that are disproportionate to the situations that trigger them. And IED is thought to affect as many as 16 million Americans more than bipolar disorder and schizophrenia combined. The Journal of Clinical Psychiatry reports on a study of 358 adults who were in three groups. One group had intermittent explosive disorder, the second group had psychological problems without IED, and the third group had no psychological issues. And it was found that those who had a Toxoplasma gondii infection had higher rates of impulsive aggression. So you may find that somebody in your family, maybe you have cats and you have somebody in your family who is prone to just bursts of anger, crazy bursts of anger, meaning they may be totally fine most of the time. They're cool, you have a great time with them, and then all of a sudden, whammo, just something changes and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? It may be that they actually have parasites in their body that are negatively impacting their mental health. If it can make so someone super angry, just flying off the cuff, what about rates of suicide? A meta-analysis of 15 studies reported in BMC Public Health reveals that there is a higher likelihood for suicide in those who have a Toxoplasma gondii infection, and they suggest using measures to avoid getting infected with Toxoplasma gondii. The Journal of Microscopy and Ultrastructure reveals a link between schizophrenia and Toxoplasma gondii infection, and a meta-analysis of 50 different studies. Now, just to step back a minute, a meta-analysis basically is when researchers try to find every study on a given subject, or as many studies in, in the languages that they know on a given subject, they compile them all together and say, okay, what do they all show? Because let's say you have 30 studies and 28% show an increase of something, and one shows no increase, it's just null, and then another one shows a decrease. When you put them all together out of that, it seems the preponderance of evidence points to an increase. So here is a massive meta-analysis, and what did they find? And meta-analysis of 50 studies reveals that there is an association with having Toxoplasma gondii and having schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, and addiction. So think about some of these things like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or OCD, going repetitive negative thoughts. Maybe you struggle, maybe you grew up in a, in a house with cats. Now, I am someone who has experienced going in more houses than most humans will ever go in, traveling for years. I've traveled for like 20 years, gone in probably thousands and thousands of houses. And I began to just notice before I realized any of these studies and you know the meta-analysis that had come out, I saw, and some of the people working with me, we said, hey, have you noticed how many people in homes that have cats, that somebody is struggling with depression? We saw this time and time again. Now, us noticing that is not a scientific study. That is just kind of like making your own association. You come up with your own hypothesis. Now, I didn't do any of these studies, but we're talking a meta-analysis of 50 studies has found significant increased rates of serious psychological disorders. But it may even increase the rates of addiction. So people may be struggling with an addiction, and it may be because all kinds of terrible things are going in, on in their body because they have parasites. They may be riddled with them. And so this is really, really something to consider. And so once again, a cat might make a great pet, but they may do better outside. They were created to be out there in the first place anyway, and they're less likely to cause you and your family serious psychological distress. A meta-analysis reported in the journal Experimental Parasitology reveals that people under the age of 45 who are infected with Toxoplasma gondii have higher amounts of car accidents. Now, many people say, but my cat helps my depression. Maybe not, maybe it's causing your depression, but you still feel good because there's this warm, nice creature that's friendly with you. It may actually be causing the depression and you didn't realize it. Now, we talked about the IED, this intermittent explosive disorder, and you may have a family member who's struggling with this anger, uh, someone who is totally fine most of the time, but they end up exploding. It could be a 
child of yours. It could be a mother, it could be a brother, it could be your husband, or maybe even yourself. And I made a video that you do not want to miss on a food that's considered to be totally healthy by most people anyway, that may actually be causing this in your marriage, in your home, with your children. Don't miss this video right here. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and I would love to hear what you think about this research down below. So share it down below. God bless and have a fantastic day.